bet you're bursting to see what the classic dessert is under that cloche. Just a word of warning, it's not that classic and it ain't that simple. Darren? Today, you'll be cooking my... Peach Melba. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I've never heard a ooh -ah like that before. Oh, wow, look at it. It's so ooh -ah. that is stunning. <laughs> ooh -ah, Peach Melba. Let's go, Lise. Oh, uh, Brendan, you're a craftsman. <laughs> When I start streaming the sugar over the ladle, I'm actually quite impressed with myself. It's looking really pretty. The streams are nice and thin. Wow. Jenny, I'm excited about this. <laughs> I'm trying to have as much finesse as you did. This is awesome. Good job, Joe. Really focused. Joe's doing some really good work with her sugar cage. It's like an octopus. It's looking really fine and delicate. Probably one of the better ones of the day. The strands that are coming off down the bottom, you just want to crush them until they, you can feel them break. It's so hard. I'm trying to replicate Dara's sugar cage, and it's looking pretty good. It's awesome. All of a sudden, butterflies and nerves kick in. Oh my gosh, you have to get this right. It's his dish. My hands start shaking and I start getting a little bit squiggly. Oh! Uh, no, no. It's broken. Oh, my gosh. Get another mix on. Yeah. You know, this is one of them things that's practice, but you've had a good start, so you've definitely got time to make another mix. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Lisa! Looking good, Jojo. Thank you. I'm really happy with my sugar cage. It looks amazing. Oh, Joe! I'm going to put that aside and work on the next element. Next, I need to poach my peaches. I grab two peaches and pop them into peach snaps. Is it permissible to drink the snaps? <laughs> <laughs> and get them poaching with some vanilla beans. Let's go, let's go! Let's go, Brandon! Hello! I really want to infuse the flavour of the snaps into the peach. It needs to be done really softly and delicately so that they don't go too soft. You're doing well, Joe. I really need to make sure that I don't boil the liquid and leave them in there for too long. Oh, wow. Okay. Jenny's falling behind. I'm just in disbelief. Everyone else has done sugar cages. I need to get onto the peaches, but I need to finish off my second sugar cage. Work fast, Jenny. OK, work fast, work fast, Jenny. That sugar cage, it's like the opening act, so it just has to be perfect. More finesse. Have some finesse. One mistake is all it takes to send me home. I need to pull it together. This dish requires precision and some calm. You've got two hours to go. Just be gentle. I take my sugar cage off the ladle. Good job, Jen. Jenny! Ah! Oh, my God! I drop it in there and it breaks. It was perfect and then she drops it. Joe's twill looks thicker than Brendan's one. I just hope that that's not going to go against her. But at least she's in front of Jenny and Lisa. I'm taking a bit of time making the twill. I need to get it as thin as possible. You're doing a good job, Lisa. Thank you. It's so important for me to stay in this competition. This is my dream. I'm not ready to go home. Amazing job, Jenny. Nice one, Jenny. <laughs> Finally! I feel like I have caught up. 
I need to push myself harder. Right, listen up. You gotta make the sponge, you gotta temper the chocolate, you gotta measure off the syrup, make the jelly. So much to do. 60 minutes to go. Oh, I don't need the tray, do I? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, oh. you need the tray. Oh, oh. Once the twill has been in the oven for five minutes, I take it out and it's perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, the colour's great. When I pull the twill out of the oven, Ooh. it looks like a sponge. I've got a problem on my hands. I'm a little bit worried about these bubbles. Oh, no. I can see the big air pockets. It's ruined. Bubbles. Yeah, because your tool mix is too thick. How can I fix that? You need to make another one. Listen up! One minute to go! One minute to go, and I'm happy with all my other elements. I just need to get this tempered chocolate on the plate. I'm beyond stressed at this point. My chocolate collar is too small for this wheel, so I cut it in half so that way I still get it on the plate. 30 seconds! I can't believe it. That was silly. I've been under so much pressure to get this dish on the plate, but I have forgotten to demold my white chocolate collar. That's not tempered. I quickly get the chocolate out of the blast chiller. I try to get the moulds over it, but it just doesn't work. Ten seconds! Nine, eight, seven... The ice cream and sugar cage can be put together in the last minute when I'm in front of the judges. It's my first pressure test. As I'm walking my dish up to the judges, I'm feeling quite confident, but scared at the same time. Well done. Now we'll taste. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Darren. That looks spectacular. Yeah, that, that looks sensational. It's got a sense of space about it, hasn't it? Yeah. Like you can see each element. Crisp. Oh, that's good. Crisp. Yeah. Crack. Oh, texture on that peach. Wow. I think he managed to temper that chocolate, you know? Yeah, there's definitely a crunch and a snap there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's really good. I haven't had a lot of success today. I don't have my chocolate collar on the plate. And it could increase my chances of going home tonight. One of you brought us an incredible version of Darren's beautiful dessert. The flavours, the textures were close to perfect. Congratulations, Brendan.
You're safe. <laughs> <clears throat> After that cook today, I'm physically and mentally drained, but it was worth it. Feel good? Yeah. I'm safe today, and I'm so happy. And... Jenny, your dessert there was delicious, and your ice cream was, I hate to say it, <laughs> as good as Darren's. <laughs> it's OK. It was <laughs> sensational. Thank you. Jenny, you're also safe. Well done. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, Lisa and Joe, it comes down to the two of you. To be honest, there was very little between your two dishes. Neither of you had your white chocolate colours. However, Joe, your peaches were a little soft and your twill could have been crisper. We're sorry, Joe. That's why you are going home. That is what it is.